If you want to optimize your testosterone to max out your physical potential, confidence and vitality, then vitamins and minerals are non-negotiable for that. The fitness industry is focused purely on macros and calories for way too long, ignoring micronutrients which are easily just as important. Micronutrients are vitamins and minerals. They're molecules, they're involved in lots of essential reactions in the body, they form parts of enzymes, they have antioxidant functions, they're important for production of hormones like testosterone. These things are not negotiable, although many fitness influencers seem to barely even know that they exist. In this video, I'm gonna cover the best sources for each micronutrient in pretty quick order. If you want way, way more detail, like the functions of these micronutrients in the body, meal plans for getting all of your micros, even for diets like vegan or carnivore, keep an eye out for my full nutrition guide on my website. All right, I'll start with vitamins. Vitamin A is the first one. It comes in two main forms, which are retinol from animal products, and carotenoids from plants. Retinol is better absorbed and used by the body. You can get retinol from liver. The best ones are beef liver, lamb liver, and cod liver oil. And then beta carotene can be found in sweet potatoes, carrots, pumpkin, spinach, and kale. Basically orange vegetables or leafy greens. And vitamin A is fat soluble, so it's absorbed better uh, through your gut when you eat it with fat. So cook the plants in some fat like butter or tallow. Now we'll get into the B vitamins, I'm starting with B1 or thiamine. Some of the best sources for this are pork loin, sunflower seeds, trout, black beans, and acorn squash. For all the seeds and the beans that I'm going to mention in this video, it's best if you soak them in water for at least a few hours before you eat them. This way they're going to sprout, they'll soften a bit, which makes them easier to digest and reduces the anti-nutrient content, which I'll talk about later. Vitamin B2 or riboflavin can be found in beef liver, lamb liver, mackerel, milk, and eggs. B3 or niacin you can get from beef liver, chicken breast, tuna, pork chop and turkey. B5 or pantothenic acid you can get from beef liver. You're probably seeing a pattern by now with this liver. Sunflower seeds, salmon, avocado and chicken breast. Vitamin B6 or pyridoxine is especially good for lowering prolactin which is a hormone that can contribute to man boobs. Uh, it can lower your libido and suppress testosterone. The best places to get B6 are beef liver again, salmon, chicken breast, tuna and turkey. B7 or biotin is next and the best sources are beef liver, egg yolk, salmon, pork chop and cheddar cheese. Again we're seeing a lot of these same ones pop up for most of these B vitamins. B9 or folate is one that you're mostly going to find in plants uh, but beef liver is still the best source for this one. Behind beef liver are spinach, black eyed peas, asparagus and brussels sprouts. For most of the plants in this video except for fruits you should cook them to reduce the anti-nutrient content. So many plants have got chemicals called anti-nutrients in them which bind to other nutrients and reduce their absorption. So for example spinach contains oxalates which bind to calcium and form crystals which reduces the calcium absorption. This is why it's simplest to get most of your micronutrients from animal sources because they're very easily absorbed and used by the human body. But there's definitely nothing wrong with having some plants in your diet. Just make sure they're good quality and they're prepared and cooked properly. And it's very individual which plants you'll tolerate well. Some people can have almost no plants because they irritate their gut so much they cause a bunch of inflammation and some people can have lots of plants with very little problems so it's very individual you'll have to experiment with it. The next vitamin is B12 or cobalamin and you can get this from clams, beef liver, mackerel, sardines and salmon. This is one that's impossible to get from plant sources so vegans will need to supplement this or eat foods that have been fortified with B12. Vitamin C is a very powerful antioxidant. Some of the best sources of this are not very commonly available like kakadu plum, acerola cherry and camu camu but there are some more commonly available sources that are still very good like black currants, red bell peppers, kiwi, orange and strawberries. Vitamin D is very important for testosterone. Your body makes vitamin D when it's exposed to UVB sunlight which penetrates the atmosphere during the middle of the day in the summer months. So get some midday sun on your skin in the summer months. Obviously don't burn yourself, don't go overboard. If you have darker skin uh, you're going to struggle in northern areas like Europe and North America with vitamin D deficiency. Other than the sun you can get vitamin D from cod liver oil, rainbow trout, sockeye salmon, mackerel and sardines so basically fish, fatty fish or you can supplement it of course. Vitamin E is a very powerful antioxidant good for protecting the Leydig cells in the testes from damage. Some of the best sources for this are sunflower seeds, 
almonds, hazelnuts, avocado, and peanuts. This is one that I personally supplement because I usually don't get enough. Vitamin K is one that you're mostly going to get from plants. Things like natto, which is fermented soybeans, collard greens, spinach, and kale are all good. Goose liver pate is a good animal source of vitamin K. You get vitamin K1 from plants and K2 from animal sources or fermented foods. Personally, I supplement this. Choline isn't a vitamin, but it's kind of lumped into a similar category. You can get choline from beef liver, eggs, chicken breast, salmon, and soybeans. Let's move away from vitamins and onto minerals. Minerals are just chemical elements that the body needs for various functions. Calcium can be found in parmesan, canned sardines or salmon with soft edible bones. So it's those bones that contain a load of calcium and also yogurt and milk. Phosphorus can be found in beef liver, milk, salmon, chicken breast and lentils. Make sure you cook the lentils. Potassium can be found in potatoes, especially with the skin on. Swiss chard, avocado, salmon and bananas. Sodium can be found in sea salt, seaweed, shellfish, clams, anchovies and parmesan cheese. Chloride can be found in salt, seaweed, celery, lettuce, tomatoes and olives. Magnesium is one that's pretty hard to get from food, so I recommend supplementing this. Magnesium reduces sex hormone binding globulin, which is usually bound to testosterone. So the result of getting magnesium is you have more free testosterone that can be used to bind to androgen receptors in your body. To get magnesium, you can drink mineral water, eat pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, almonds, spinach, or cashews. Again, I recommend supplementing this. Iron is another one that you need. The best animal sources for iron are clams, beef liver, oysters, sardines, and duck breast. And some of the best plant sources are spinach, lentils, chickpeas, tofu, and pumpkin seeds. Zinc is one that's very important for testosterone and fertility. Probably the one that most people think of when it comes to micronutrients that are important for testosterone, maybe along with like vitamin D. Zinc supports the Leydig cells in the testes, which are the cells that make testosterone. You can get zinc from oysters, beef, crab, lobster, and pork chop. If you supplement it, don't take massive doses like every day because too much zinc can deplete your copper so you want to take it maybe every other day with slightly smaller doses if you're supplementing this. And let's cover copper. You can get copper from beef liver, oysters, lobster, dark chocolate and cashews. So oysters are such a good source for both zinc and copper because they kind of balance each other out. Iodine is very important for thyroid hormone which is involved in controlling metabolism and it's involved in the regulation of a lot of other hormones like testosterone. You can get iodine from seaweed, cod, tuna, shrimp and eggs so basically seafood but especially seaweed and kelp. Cobalt is found in B12 so the sources are the same as B12 so clams, beef liver, oysters, mackerel and eggs. Manganese can be found in mussels, brown rice, pineapple, almonds and spinach so some slightly different foods there a bit more interesting than the usual like liver, oysters, salmon and so on. For chromium the best source by far is mussels and then oysters are also really good followed by brazil nuts, dates and broccoli. Selenium Selenium is another important one for testosterone, so it protects the testes from oxidative damage. The best source of selenium is Brazil nuts. Some other good sources are tuna, sardines, and beef liver. Boron, again, this is another important one for testosterone, especially for increasing free testosterone. You can get boron from raisins, avocados, almonds, prunes, and peanuts. And lastly, molybdenum is found in lentils, black beans, kidney beans, peas, and oats, so basically legumes. And that's it. There was a lot of over overlap with some of these foods coming up over and over again. So the most bang for your buck foods in terms of micronutrients are going to be things like beef liver, salmon and other fatty fish like mackerel and sardines, eggs, dairy especially milk and parmesan, some shellfish like oysters, crabs and clams and mussels, chicken breast, pork and then some of the better plant sources things like sunflower seeds, almonds, avocados, spinach and other leafy greens. Hopefully you realize that spamming all of these every day in large amounts isn't the best way to go about this. There is such a thing as too much of any of these nutrients. I would say that every day you should have eggs, beef or lamb, dairy, some vitamin C fruit like kiwi, maybe some nuts and 
seeds properly prepared. Of course, every few days you can have like chicken breast, pork, leafy greens, avocados, and then once or twice a week you have beef, liver, salmon, shellfish. And that's gonna cover most of your needs just in those few foods there. Remember to prepare all of your vegetables and your nuts and stuff properly. So soaking legumes and nuts and seeds so that they sprout before you eat them, cooking uh, most of your vegetables to reduce anti-nutrient content, and then eating some of them with uh, fat like butter or olive oil to improve their absorption if they're fat soluble vitamins. All right, thank you for watching. I wanna emphasize again that micronutrients are not negotiable for testosterone and any other function in your body. These are like the raw materials that your body needs to carry out certain processes and to make certain proteins, cells, hormones. It's very important that you're getting all of these in your diet. Hopefully you can identify a few of these nutrients that are kind of lacking from your diet at the moment and you can use some of those best foods that I've mentioned in order to fill in that gap. I'm going to have my nutrition guide available for pre-order on my website. Nutrition is a very confusing topic as I'm sure you know with lots of contradicting arguments and a lot of heightened emotions and ego and debates and stuff. I'm going to help you cut through all of that nonsense and find what's going to work for you based on our mechanistic knowledge of physiology, the most up-to-date research papers and outcome findings, and your unique needs. The link to that will be in the description. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.